Hi and welcome back. So, how should we respond to this pandemic? Well, how about stop panicking about what you're going to wipe your bottom with and maybe take this moment in time to change your life. In this video, we'll look at 10 things to think about. Indeed, it is dark times for us all. It's dark times inside this container too. As I found out today, my last day of work was about three or four days ago. And when I'm going back to work, I don't know. Which is why you're gonna end up with more content uh, from this channel. Sorry about that. So then, what can we do? Well, one, we can change this music. Ah, that's better. And remember that we have to get on with our normal lives as best we can. What are you doing? It's not time. No, don't start a tour of the kitchen. Don't. Don't shove the mess on top of the microwave. Ah, there's Dory in the budgie. Don't shove the mess on the tape. Uh. See, lots of things to do. I told you it was warts and all. So the 10 things, let's just quickly run through them. Don't get uh, over obsessed with them now. Just let these kind of things run through your mind over the next week or so. And we'll look into them and see how we can change our lives. Be more organized, less stressed, do less and achieve more and have a chance of being you. That's what it's all about. So, number one then, get in the game. You can't play the game of life while you're sitting on row double Z. You can't steer your car from the back seat. It's all of them kind of metaphors. If you want to be in control of your life, then you have to get in the game. And the time to get in the game and to find time to be you is right now. Think about it. Two, it's all down to you. Everything that happens in your life is down to you. The book stops at you. I'm not saying you're to blame for everything, but you are partly responsible for everything that happens to you. The book starts with you, remember that. Your life is down to you, and only you. Three, so why is your life okay? Why is my life okay? Why am I bumbling along like this, deciding this is all right? What am I getting out of it? What are you getting out of it? Ask yourself. Why is my life okay? Why have I been living like this for heaven knows how long, pretending I'm happy? Think about it. Four, that the elephant in that room, that problem you know you've got, but you pretend it's not there. That thing you need to deal with in your life, but you pretend it's not there. It's a big, gigantic elephant in the room. It's time to turn around and talk to that elephant. You won't be able to change anything in your life if you don't believe that it exists. You must acknowledge that it exists. You can't deal with the problem if you don't say, there it is, there's the problem, gonna deal with it. Five, time to trade, time to do a bargain. Life's like that, it's a little machine. Put something in, it'll give you something out. The more you put in, the more it gives out. If you want a bar of chocolate out of the machine, you put some money in the slot. You give it money, it gives you chocolate. You want a pair of shoes, you go to a shoe shop. You give them some money, they give you some shoes. Life like that. Put in the currency and life will give you the product that you want. Time to do a trade with life. The more you put into life, the more it will give you back. Six. This world is your world. Your world is your world. No one has the same world as you. No one looks at the world like you. You don't look like the, at the world like anybody else. How you control your world is down to you. If you want to change your world, you have to change your world. Seven. Now, with this old virus hanging about, ultimately, there'll be a vaccine quite a long way down the road, but there will be one in the end. Now life doesn't have a vaccine. You have to manage it yourself. You have to take care of life. You have to deal with all of the problems. No one's gonna come along, no doctor's gonna come along and say, there you go, there's your vaccine against life. 
you have to manage their, your life because there ain't no vaccine for your life. 8. Other people will have to cope. Some people will see a change in you and they might not like it when you're off to get the life you want. I'm not saying disregard all your loved ones, all your family. Don't have, don't have respect for them and what they want, but you have to have your life. They might not like it, they might have worries. That is their problem. You're teaching them what you need to teach them. This is my life now, and this is how I'm going to live it. Whether they accept it or not is down to them. Let other people cope with their problems, and you feel yours. Hate you all frozen on you. Things in the past, things that are eating away at your mind. Let them go. Let it go. All right? Some call it forgiveness. But if you've had things done to you in the past that you are affecting you now, that will affect your future, got to let them go. Let it go. Anything that's eating you up, think about the kind of things that are in your mind that go over and over. You lie in bed at night trying to get to sleep. The things that wind you up and have wound you up for ages. Let them go. That's nine. Ten. Decide what you want for life, in life. Be vaguely wandering along. Think, oh, I just want to be happy. A budgie over there's happy sitting on its cage, peering on the floor. Don't think that's going to make you happy, is it? You need to decide what you want and don't be too vague about it and don't want something you can't have. You ain't going to be a spaceman. All right, well, there you go. That's 10 things to think about whilst you've got all this time about you. Do look after yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. But do come back and talk soon.